MCO Ping Monitor is a program that allows you to monitor the availability of remote hosts, get notifications when connections are lost and restored, and collect statistics of network connections. In this video, you'll learn how the program works and see how to use the basic features of the program. Let's get started. The program is designed to continuously monitor hosts using the ICMP protocol, and it's possible to monitor many hosts simultaneously. How does the monitoring work? The program sends ping requests to the monitored hosts on a regular basis and waits for ping replies from the hosts. If a host replies, the program notes that the host is reachable. If no reply is delivered, and this happens several times in a row, it means that the connection is lost, hence the program detects a connection outage for the host and notifies the administrator. The program supports different notification types and can send an email, play a sound, show a balloon in the Windows tray, or execute a pre-configured custom action. MCO Ping Monitor is available in three editions. Follow this link to see the differences between the editions. Note that the commercial editions of the program may be evaluated free of charge during 30 days. Let's have a look at the main features of the program. Using the Enterprise Edition of the program, we can connect to a local or remote server through LAN, WAN, or VPN. In the Host Browser view, we can see the list of hosts. Hosts can be organized in groups, so we can start and stop monitoring all hosts in a group with a single click. We can also configure various settings for a group, which will be used by all hosts from this group. When selecting a host, we can see its statistics in the Details view. Here we can see the host status, the ping statistics, and other information. At the bottom of the view, we can find a list of detected outages for the host. The Live Data tab shows a real-time chart representing the ping response time and the connection status for the host. The Historical Data tab shows the ping and uptime statistics for the host by periods. We can select the required time interval to see the statistics. The host view shows all the hosts and their statistics in a grid, so we can use the data sorting, grouping, and filtering options to see the required information. For example, let's filter the hosts by their statuses to see the hosts that are offline. You can organize data according to your needs, using the advanced grouping and filtering features available in every view of the program. Now let's have a look at the host settings. All the host settings are customizable. For example, this host uses the global monitoring settings. However, if we need to set custom ping intervals and conditions, we can override the global settings and specify custom settings here. The global settings, shared by all hosts by default, can be configured in preferences. Here we can configure the SMTP settings, so the program will be sending us email notifications when connections are lost or restored. The email notification templates can be configured here. Other types of notifications can be configured in this dialog. The program can be integrated with other software. Here we can specify the custom actions, such as scripts or executables, to be launched when certain events occur. Here, you can specify the gateway that should be checked to confirm ping replies from monitored hosts. It is helpful, for example, if you monitor hosts located in the Internet, so you can specify a single global gateway to check to make sure the program has Internet access. This prevents reporting outages for monitored hosts if the Internet connection is lost. The program can be configured to automatically generate reports that can be managed in this view. A report can be generated manually, on demand, or automatically, on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. A generated report contains information about the member hosts. Here we can select the report format and configure the program to send reports by email if required. It is possible to configure the program to upload the generated report to a web server. Let's take a look at the generated report. The Enterprise Edition of the program allows multiple concurrent users to connect to the same server. In this view, we can configure accounts, as well as their roles and permissions, to allow access to the program for the authorized users only. 
This was just a quick overview of the main features of the program. To learn more, visit our website and watch our videos. Stay tuned.